Here's, I got a lot of pet peeves in the world, but one thing, a man that don't work, that absolutely fucking disgusts me. Like, Ron, and tragic. Like, well, you can't never say home, so you don't... <laughs> the Bible says, a man who does not work does not eat. Why the fuck are they? They're getting more than their 50 cents a day. Look at them fat fucks. One's a, one, one's a wigger, we all know that, and the other one is just a failure to launch completely at 45 years old and still trying. It's it's embarrassing. It's so self-unaware. So embarrassing. Please don't get me on this. I hurt their feelings in a matter of, like, just that. That'll give them content for the next two days. Me saying that on them. But it's true. I just being funny. Yeah. In the comments, so. I know. Quit taking it so hard. It, it's not a dick. Quit taking it so hard. Like, I'm just talking. <laughs> like, it's not against you. We're talking about fucking that motherfucker Ron, who I hate, and now his cuck, who is tragic. bad. <laughs> it's bad news. Every time you say the name Ron, I think of fucking Ron and Jeremy. For some Please reason. don't. <laughs> this has nothing to do. I call him Rattle Can Ron. Ron. Like, when you say that tragic name, I'm like, oh, is that that fucking guy? No, the fucking guy that you're thinking of, that is Ron. That is Rattle Can Ron. He's 45 years old, has five kids, never had a job in his life. Literally hit the gold mine on his last kid because the mom was a drug addict. So he got full custody and now he gets foodies. He gets government assistance, all this shit. Grifted a house off of his grandma. His mom went, his grandma went into fucking whatever in the hell, dying or whatever. Get, gave him the house. Now he's living in a house free where his mom pays the taxes and all that. He gets food stamps. He gets fucking government assistance. Doesn't work a day in his life. His job is to be an entertainer on YouTube, which he can't even get an audience over 50 fucking people. So if that tells you anything, and this man, again, is 45 years old. I'm embarrassed even, like. So you got DC Media, the fat old Asian woman, man, Roy Orberson, whatever you want to call her. She thinks she's hit the gold mine because she's 60-something years old and has this little a younger man, but he's a fucking bum. He's not even good looking. Like, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, I get getting with a bum if they're hot or whatever, but what the fuck? <laughs> they're, this is bad. This is bad for all the way around. Invaluable advice when I was 22 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's that great. Yes, he's got all kinds of. Agree, fuck you, Ron, from all of us. Says Miss Isaac. I agree, and tragic too. He, he. I don't know which one's worse. What grown men in their forties are obsessed with the fucking Joker? Okay, so let's let's just get real. We're talking about Batman and jo Joker. Is an older man who has emotional problems, cries all the time, fucked up in the head, serial killer. And they are, that's like their idol. Why he's sitting there, Ron's sitting there talking about how he's going to kill me. Um, to pat at you on fucking her. He literally is in her DMs talking about how he's going to brutally kill me. Dude, someone, please help me. If I end up dead, please go to Whatever Ron. What happened with that? Have you ever heard anything back from that detective? Yeah. I'll tell you in a little bit. <laughs> They're on it. Well, you know, the court cases got dropped and all that, but I'll tell you later. Yeah, it's just, they're, they're a fucking mess. They're ate up with the dumbass, if I've ever seen anything. Grown ass, 44-year-old 40, wigger trying to fucking make it, still trying to be a rapper. <clears throat> what? I'm 42, I'm still trying to be a rapper. Oh, yeah, we can tell. Are you going to freestyle real fast? <laughs> Are you going to look dead in the camera and really sing like he does? <laughs> I doubt I'm it. Go put all my jewelry on real quick. <laughs> Make a video real quick. Oh, Ron's made videos for you. He said, oh, Ron has made videos for you. 
What? It's like Dearest Orange. Well, you can see the damn videos. I don't have my iPad here. I got my little computer. Someone sent me the link, and it was like this. It was just this short video. It was like less than a minute long, and it was like Dearest Orange. You have no idea what you're getting into. You need to fucking run, basically, and save your you and your kid now from this monster. <laughs> you tell me that every day. I know. So you, you are, he already knows. Tell him something he doesn't know about me. So, dude, he doesn't have. A, he cannot maintain a job. He's mentally ill. You know what? I straight up before we before he decided to hate me because he went back to Ron. You know, he's trying to get my good graces for those couple months. I straight up asked him. I, I can pull up these screenshots. I said, dude, is there something wrong with you? Like, not being mean. Do you have mental issues or something like that that I need to know about? He said, no, I had a stroke. So I'm slow and all this. And I was like, oh. So I didn't want to make fun of him after that. You know what I mean? I mean, okay, you get a stroke, so now you're claiming retard, and you get away with being a fucking shit dick, and I see you for what you are. Fuck you, your Joker obsession, and fuck you and your cock obsession. You're gay. You're both gay. Get out of the fucking closet. Either that, or they're both obsessed with me and want to be drag queens. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're not gay. Maybe they're just fucking serial killers. Well, fucking kill me already. Die or don't. I'm tired of it. Leave me alone. The screen movie. Yes, it's like kill me or not, man. I'm about tired of it. And thank you for coming last night too. That was, that was fun.